Your Corg X3 has a non-functional floppy drive. What a piece of crap. There are several ways to connect the Korg X3 to a computer. In this tutorial, we are using a sound card, which has a MIDI game port on it. We are also going to use a MIDI game port cable. This is a standard PCI sound card, with a MIDI port. It can be easily installed into a desktop computer. Once the sound card is installed into your computer, you can plug the MIDI game port cable into it. If you do not have a desktop computer, MIDI port adapters are available for laptop computers. Older laptops can use a PCMCIA MIDI adapter. Laptop and desktop computers with USB ports can use a USB MIDI adapter. The other end of the cable has two connections, MIDI out and MIDI in. The Korg X3 has three MIDI receptacles. We will only use the MIDI input and the MIDI output. The cable input from the computer connects to the Korg's output and the cable output from the computer connects to the Korg's input Next, you will need to download and install Java Development Kit. You also need to download and install Midiux. The last file that you need to download is at the Korg X3 group and Yahoo groups. Here, you can click on the files link. Then click on the support link. Then scroll down to the file called x 3 file 2 sysxjar Download this file into a new folder. This area here is the new folder on your computer where you just downloaded the file to. Copy and paste your Korg X3 files and paste them here. Run the Java file by double clicking it. This will automatically convert the Korg X3 files into system exclusive files known as sysx files. On the Korg X3, press the global button. Next, go over to the cursor and press the upper button 12 times. This will take you to menu item number 5A. You will see MIDI dump mode displayed. Go to global item 3B and make sure that the setting is on and displays all. Go to global item 3C and make sure that the both of these settings are set to E, N, A. Go to global item 3D and make sure that the both of these settings are set to E, N, A. We are going to use the MIDIUX software to dump the SysX files into the Korg X3 keyboard. Click the Options tab, then go down to MIDI Devices. In this window here, click the setting that contains the words MPU-401. This tells the port mapping that the Korg X3 will be the MIDI device, rather than using the sound card. One more setting before we can transfer files. Click the View button, go down, and select SysX. In the new window, click SysX. Then go down to Configure. In this configuration menu, change both delay settings from 60 to 120. These settings will work with most computers. Now that Midiux is configured, we can load and send the SysX files. Select View. Go down to SysX. Click Command Window and choose Load File. Select a SysX file from your new folder to load. Click the Command Window again. Then click the Send SysX option. 
The SysX file is now being transferred to the Korg X3. Each SysX file can be loaded in the same manner. Notice that the Korg X3 displays program. You can send all of the files using just the program setting. The combination, global, drums or song setting will work too, but are not needed when sending SysX files to the Korg X3. You can send all of your data from the Korg X3 to your computer. In MIDIUX, click the View option. Then click SysX. In the new window, click the SysX option. Click Receive Manual Dump. On the Korg X3, click the Global button. Next, go over to the cursor and press the upper button 12 times. This will take you to menu item number 5A. You will see MIDI Dump Mode. To send the program file from the Korg X3 to your computer, select Program, then select the OK option. Data is now being sent to your computer. MIDIUX will immediately begin receiving the data from the Korg X3. Wait until the Korg X3 has completed the MIDI dump. Then you can click the Done button in MIDIUX software. Go to the Display window. Click Save As. Name the file that matches the type of data. In this case, it is a Korg X3 program file. You can save the rest of your Korg X3 files in the same manner. You now have the full use of your Korg X3 keyboard, even with a crapped up sloppy drive.